Okay, today is January the 10th. What does that mean? Day 10 of the January vlog challenge. Woo! I can't believe I've made it so far. And it actually is not the easiest thing to keep up with a vlog challenge. You know, I guess that's why they call it a challenge. Um, because you have to really just continually focus on your goal and just do it. So today you see me with my new hairdo. This is my birthday hair, y'all. This is my birthday hair. I got a rod set today. You can see. It's a little flat because I had my bonnet on. But I took it off so I could do this video. Um, I like it, but I feel like it's a little bit in my face. I really don't like my hair in my face. That's just number one annoying thing on to today's vlog challenge it is day 10 five things that you're grateful for and we pretty much remixed me and my friend we remixed the vlog challenge that we had found on tumblr and that was what we put for today instead of um your tumblr secrets because obviously this is not tumblr this is youtube and i don't really have any secrets to share so, five. Number one, I am very, very grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for our marriage and for um, just the relationship that we have and how through our marriage and through our love, um, through our conflicts, I have truly grown to be a better person. I have learned how to... Um, just just deal with life and situations in a whole another way in a better way and i've seen myself um in another light through my marriage also i have um i have some lipstick on well it was some lipstick and it actually is making my lip kind of look like they're chappy i don't know sorry but um that's, that's the number one thing I'm thankful for. Number two, I'm thankful for my family. My family, um, including which includes my mom, my sister, my father, all my many, many cousins. I really, really am glad to have family. Some people, you know, are not as fortunate to have family, but they do have people that in their life probably that they call family. But I'm just so grateful for my family. And I admonish you, if you do have any skirmishes with your family, anything that has kept you from talking to your family, let it go. Let it go and don't don't let that come between you and blood. Because truly, blood is thicker than water. And there's nothing that your family members do to you that you can't forgive and try to move on and... And just make it better. So that's my family. I really love them. Friends. That's the third thing I'm grateful for. I really love my friends. I have a couple of close friends. And mainly they are couples. They are couples that are married. And they have been definitely an encouragement. And um, just a support system for me. And for me and my husband in our marriage. We have... um. Okay, there are too many. I won't even list them because if I forget anybody, I don't want anyone to be jealous. So, my friends, though, they're really... I love those people. You know who you are. Um, fourth, I'm thankful for my iPad. It is really a blessing. It has been something that I've learned to just delve into technology and just forget about talking about wanting to get something and not getting it. I had a laptop and I actually sold my laptop and saved some money on top of the money that um, I sold my laptop for to buy this iPad. Um, it's an iPad 2 and I really, really like it. And it really has taught me a lot of things because sometimes I'm a very um, passive person at times and I can just be like ah, it's okay I'm not gonna stress it it's not that deep but with this iPad it really has taught me like you can't just let things go like I had to go after it like I really wanted it and I went after it 
and my husband and my sister, of course, they actually helped me. I can't neglect that. Um, they helped me put some money together, and they actually are the ones that purchased it for me on my birthday. Um, so I'm thankful for my iPad. And finally, I'm thankful for... Oh, what was the fifth thing? I had to write it down because there's so many things that you can be thankful for, you know? Really, I think it was that I'm thankful for my opportunities and no no that's what it was my life my simple the simplicity of my life um like again i told you this i think yesterday i said i'm a very simple person and i really am a simple person and i really appreciate being simple i'm thankful that god made me the simple person that i am and i hope to continue to be the simple person so that i can um just really love the little things in life because sometimes that's what really makes a difference when you appreciate all the little little things it really makes a big thing and you're less stressful you're happier your countenance is just is glowing and people can see that you truly have a good thing so those are the five things that I'm grateful for. What are you grateful for? We don't have to wait till Thanksgiving or Christmas for us to share what we're thankful for. Please, you know, write um, a response. Do a video response of the five things that you're grateful for. And I'll be glad to hear those things because sometimes we don't count our blessings. And truly, if you count your blessings, name them one by one, you'll see that you have a whole lot going for you. All right, I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.